Well, like I said before, I'm going to pick Gorister, then Benny, then Ted. So let's just go ahead and do that. Brand new day, brand new opportunity to play this game. I do apologize if you hear my cat in the background, but she's being a little punk. Start that stopwatch. There we go, so I don't have to restart this. Now, Gorister's story was the first thing that introduced me to this game. And the fact that you could do so many things really just overwhelmed me. The only point in click adventure game I had played before this was two obscure titles. One was uh, Night Long, and the other one was Blade Runner. And my cat is right here. Wants to watch me play the game? Let's let him. I don't know what razor blades he's been interacting with. Painful, but not deadly. I'm pretty sure you'd die after a while. Trust is essential. Please. I hate that kind of advice. Expect the unexpected. Well, if I expect the unexpected, then it's expected, isn't it? So it's no longer unexpected. Think. It worked spit. Gorister isn't really explored too much in the book. Well, none of them really are. Some of them stand out more than others, like Benny or uh, Ted, seeing as you're playing as him. Now, I remember, if you look in the mirror, does this really creepy thing. Yeah. I remember first seeing that, I was just, just a little creeped out, and I seen a lot of things. Like the Hellraiser series. Now, I know we take that blanket. If you look at this book. This one always confused me. I remember before, I did it to the best of my abilities, but I didn't go, I didn't do it right in the least. But as I said before, this actually introduced me to long plays on Necroscope's channel. You should really check it out, it's very good. But, uh, his long play of this was a very long play. Indeed. It was about 40 videos or so. I don't blame him. The game is very tough. And without a strategy guide or prior knowledge of anything, you're going to be messing around with the game for a long time. Adjust the microphone there. Well, my stomach's growling too. It's about uh, 3 p.m. and I still haven't eaten anything. Now the thing here, there's a bowl of punch, but, I mean, give me a break. It's right next to a vomit stain. Am I really going to do that? Am I really? I mean, nothing else happens, then he dies, so I don't think it's really worth showing you. Take the fork. Take the knife. It's a pretty sharp knife. Let's look at that. And yet, he doesn't even think to slit his wrists. The knife with the rats scared them away. That scared them away. For a DOS game, i got to say, this is actually very good. It's a lot of choices, a lot of voices. The music actually adds something to the environment. And only at about 200 megabytes, too. And... We eat the uh, crap bubonic plague filled bread. I'm no longer hungry, but still feel empty. Right. I forgot if that even does anything. I do it just as a formality, really. I mean, it's food. You eat it. That's it. Christ, what a stench. Ah. 
I remember how loud this part is. Or at least a little later. Take the bloody key. Oh. Now I never quite got this part. You know, as far as uh, symbolism and stuff goes, I know this liquid, I could take it. But if I drink it, he says he feels okay, but still empty. And you get the bad dirge music, so I'd rather not do that. Let's just do this right now. If you put these two sheets together, voila, you make a rope. Just like in prison. There's a harness here. I know what that's for. We'll do that later, of course. Hmm. I am missing something. There's a gun around here. Somewhere. It's under a pillow. No, definitely not in here, because that's where I got the sheet. Now, when I do these long plays, I'm not trying to look you know, badass or anywhere near impressive. I'm just doing them to, you know, play the game through. As you can see in Ellen's story, I got messed up for a little while. I actually stopped recording, and I was very determined not to look like an idiot, so I did the whole thing on my own without recording it. Ah, what do you mean you don't know what to do with this? Look at the pillow. Something hard. So... Use the oh, take the pillow. It's heavier than it ought to be because it's a huge, huge gun. It's probably like a flare gun or something. All right, let's walk out of here. I think I know where to go now. We go up the stairs, and there's altimeters and different sorts of things. Yeah, altimeter. The emergency switch to refill these bags just in case, and I'll let you know why just in case in a little while. Let's use the knife. I just right, right, right. You just dull your knife. The knife that supposedly could cut through anything. Plot hole, I says. Okay. Use the knife with the stitching. Rip the new hole. Let's go inside there. If you look over here, it's Gorister's worn out heart. So let's use the rope with the morning ring. Then, what good? what good will that do me? It's your heart, buddy. So there you go. And I got a little more green. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have a bit of a cold now. <coughs> it's raining here. Okay, so now he has that hole filled up. Still has his heart. Now, always remember, use the knife with the rope so you can have the rope again. Albeit it's not even a little shorter, but it's a video game. What are you going to do? All right, now if I remember correctly, we use the knife with the airbag. Or at least one of them. You could do it to multiple, but you're only supposed to do it to a few. Okay, oof. And we have that awful, awful sound. Smithers, what's happening? What's that alarming sound? It's all it reminds me of. What's that sound? It's an alarm. It's meant to alarm you of something. Now to stop that infernal cacophony. We use the fork with the engine. Short circuits everything. No more noise. So let's just save right here. Need to stop this LP. And we'll pick it up in a little while.